Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to film a fun planner setup. Uh, this is the second part of my collab with Nikki Plus 3. We did a Christmas in July plan with me on Tuesday and today we are doing a Christmas in July planner setup. So as you can see I have two planners here because I couldn't pick just one um, because I because I own a divider shop, I have so many options when it comes to Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. I've got so many Christmas options um, that I couldn't pick just one, so I picked two. And I'm gonna show you like a very traditional setup and then one that's a little bit more fun and like bright. Um, and then I also pulled a couple of other like divider options that I have from my shop. It's not all of the Christmas kits that I had, but it's ones that I already had printed and I just figured I'd show them to you. So let's start with the um, bright Christmas one. And I'm filming this in the evening, so I have my lights up. I'm really sorry if there's a, a lot of glare on the lamination. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but these papers were purchased from Fru Fru Craft last year and they're gorgeous. They're this really pretty like teal color and it's got um, the tree here. It's like the limb and it has all these beautiful ornaments that touches the gold, pink, purple, and silver. Um, so pretty. This one has the tree and the presents underneath. This is a dashboard. It says where the treetops glisten. And then the divider set does typically come with six. However, you guys know that I prefer to have three in mine. So I cut it down to just the three, but um, it does typically have six. The other thing was I forgot to round these corners. This divider or this dashboard was already done and made. And so I forgot to round the corners, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's my planner. I'm not um, sending it to anybody, so that's good. I'm going to be using my Webster's Color Crush in Cream for this setup, and it's a little beat up because I love this planner and I use it all the time. So let's just jump into it. I think I'm going to start. I have all of these um, divider. <laughs> I have all these. Uh, what are they? Week on four page or week on two page. I can't remember, but I've got a bunch of them already in here. Oh, this is that kit I was telling you guys about earlier. Oh, I love this one with the lace. Okay, so I'm getting distracted. All right. Ooh, shiny syndrome. Just going to put the dividers in first. Just kind of like dividing up the paper so that it lays better. I don't know if it's really gonna work, but okay, that's better. There's really not much in here, but instead of interrupting my previous, like the planner that I'm actually using, I just figured I'd use whatever was already in here. So that is how it works. Now, you don't need to have the dashboard and the divider, like you could just do the dividers and it'd be equally as pretty. Um, or you could do just the dashboard if you don't need dividers. If you only keep one section in your planner, then you wouldn't need it, and you could just use the dashboard. Um, but either way, it looks really pretty. I like both because I was feeling a little extra today. So let's go ahead and fill these pockets. I didn't, I didn't pull out a whole lot of stuff. Um, I have been working all day long trying to get these new releases up, so... I'm a little bit late in filming this video. I told my husband that if I didn't get this video filmed, I was going to be like the worst collaborator ever. But I did. Here I am. I'm filming. So I, I redeem myself. Thank goodness because I love Nikki and I would hate to ruin it. So I pulled some felt. Uh, this is a gold doily that I get at Michael's. I get asked a lot in my videos where I get my doilies. They're all from Michael's. Um, and they're all in the paper crafting section, like right in the middle by where like the stickers and the washi tape is and everything. They have like that whole aisle of color coordinated paper goods that kind of look like party goods too. That's always where I get them. And they, they have a really good selection. So, but I have these two felt paper clips that are from, I'm not sure where they're, I, they're on Etsy. I purchased them last year. I couldn't even tell you where they're from because... I don't remember right this second. I think I told you guys that I wasn't feeling super well. I 
have been staying up far too late and not getting enough sleep and working myself too much. Um, and I just said to my family today that I need to find a way to take a day off, like one whole day off in the week. I don't do that right now because I just don't have the time, but I need to make the time because my work-life balance right now is terrible. So I got to find a way to make it work. So now that I'm looking at this setup, I'm realizing I really didn't pull anything. Um, I thought I pulled more stuff to put in here, but I didn't because this, I don't know why. This ruffle bow or this ruffle floral is from K and Co. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't seem to get it on there. Am I doing something wrong? Don't answer that question. I probably am. All right. But in a perfect world, I would have more. I just didn't come prepared for this setup. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. But as you can see, this would be a fun way. Like I would put some more paper in here. I would need to get some die cuts. That's what's seriously missing in this situation. I didn't print and cut any die cuts, um, which I'm wishing I had. So... But if I had die cuts, if I had some paper to put back here, it would be really cute. If I had more paper clips, it would be really cute. So let's jump into the other planner. And for this one, I pulled out a Recollections planner. This is the black Recollections planner. I love this planner. I purchased it last year. I love to use it around Halloween and obviously with the holiday. It's so pretty and it's got the gold coil. It's a little bit dirty because it was in like the buffet but where I keep all of my extra planners. But uh, it's in great shape and I love this and I think I got it for nine dollars because they're always on sale or I used a coupon. And then for this set, or this um, planner, I pulled out a very traditional set. This matches the clip art that I used in my plan with me. And I love it, it's so traditional and it reminds me so much of the Nutcracker. If you've ever seen it, um, it opens with a party, like a, a Christmas house party. So this reminds me of the colors, they're just very traditional and reminds me of that. So. Let's go ahead and there's nothing in this planner, so I don't have papers to put in here to help uh, my dividers, but that's okay. This is just a little mock setup, and so this is just to show you some, you know, different ways to set up a planner. And um, I do oh, the dog is growling. Somebody has been letting off fireworks all night because you know, because what, what more reason do you need? So they're all kind of losing their minds. We're still watching my in-laws dogs. And so they're all kind of losing it because dogs don't like fireworks. I don't know if you knew. Okay. Now for this one, I pulled out a ton of, uh, clips. So I've got this black bow here. This is from K and Co. And then I have these two which I want to say are from Mud Pies and Pigtails, but I don't, I don't remember. They might be from Glitter and Chai. I don't remember. It, it, it was a long time ago. I had bought these. It was last year. So I should really look this stuff up before I sit down to film so that I can tell you who they're from. But they're from Etsy, so you can go online and look on Etsy. You can just search. I have this one here, which I also don't remember where it's from, but it's like a little Frappuccino, and I just love the colors, and I love coffee. So that's always a bonus. And I feel like I need cards. I did not come prepared. This red... This red paper clip, where is this from? I hauled this at the beginning of the year and I don't remember her name. I wanna say it's Allison Michelle or Michael, something like that. And I hauled it at the beginning of the year. I remember hauling it on this channel. So definitely have to check it out. And then I also have 
this flower. You know, I feel like we should pull in a lighter flower. I've got one over here. I've got these two flowers, which are from K and Co XO. As you guys can tell, I really like her flower clips. I love her big paper clips. They're super, oh. They're super cute. So maybe we'll put the black on this side. That's cute. And if we put the white over here to just give us some difference in color, you know, that's cute. That's really cute. And then if I were, you know, if this was like a planner that I was going to be using right now, I would also throw in um, some extra paper in the back. So for me, what I could do is I could print an extra sheet. I would probably do an extra sheet of this second one here, um, which is this beautiful plaid. And then I would just trim it and I would have it fit back here to bring in some of that red. And then I'd also maybe put, put one right here. And then I feel like I really need like a really pretty pen gem. Like a red pen gem would look really pretty in here or some kind of gem pen um, would look really beautiful right there. I also pulled this sweet girl from the Planner Society and I think she would look pretty here in the back. Just that nice touch of gold. And again, um, I need die cuts. I do have some Christmas die cuts. Obviously, um, they're not in the shop right now, but and I, I didn't have any on hand. And I didn't really have the time tonight to make them. I'm still working on getting all my listings up. But uh, if I had those, those would be really great to like layer here on this top divider. And then obviously to fill the pockets. If you're not a die cut fan, that's fine. There are other ways for you to fill you know, the insides of the pockets. Obviously, with all these fun paper clips, you could use journaling cards. You could use, um, I've seen a lot of people do like a card and then they wrap washi around it so that you can have like washi samples in your planner. And that would be really beautiful. So there's lots of different options that you could do. And um, that's that for that planner. I kind of want to leave it and use it when Christmas comes around. But then I wanted to show you some of the other divider sets that I have in my shop for Christmas. These, like I said, are ones that I just already had printed, so I just pulled them out. This one here is a very like traditional Christmas. Uh, it's really cute, but it's got like a, seems very like, I don't know, country to me. Like it looks like decoration that you would see in, what's that restaurant, babe? The country restaurant, Cracker Barrel. Yeah. It reminds me of the Cracker Barrel for some reason. And then this one here is traditional in the colors. It's very, it's red and green, but it's really bright and fun. I love this one. I love this one with her antlers. So cute. And we've got Santa and his reindeer and this sweet girl with her gingerbread house and her hair blowing in the wind. So those are really cute and fun. So there's that one. I almost put this one in the planner tonight. This would look beautiful on that black planner. And I have this one here, which is like a cocoa theme. Um, also very beautiful and not super traditional Christmas. This is, you know, something that could take you through winter. It does have the candy canes. Um, it does have snowflakes, but snowflakes are not Christmas. You know, it's winter. And it just says, baby, it's cold outside. It doesn't say Merry Christmas or anything like that. So this one could last you through winter. And that one's really, really pretty. And then this last one I have here is very non-traditional in the sense that it's pink and... Uh, blue, but it's got the reindeer and the Christmas trees, and it has this last one here has ornaments. So I love this set. This would look really pretty in the cream planner, like almost perfect, would match perfectly. Um, and I also think it would look really pretty in the walnut one, the brown one. I think it would look really pretty in that one too. So there's that kit and it actually would look really pretty in the black too um that actually would look really pretty in the black wow 
that would look really pretty. So those are just some of the other dividers that divider sets that I have. Like I said, this is just a couple. I want to say that I had somewhere close to 20 different divider sets for uh, Christmas. So, I mean, I just showed you six. So, uh, you know, between this one here and this one here with the lighter one. So you've got lots of options and obviously there will be new ones coming out as well because people will put out new papers and new artwork and I will have to put it in the shop because that's what I do. So anyway, if you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and uh, until the next video, I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure that you check out uh, Nikki's video and I will have her video linked down below. I'm sure hers is going to be awesome. We've been talking all day and she's been working on hers all day and it's going to be fantastic. Mine's going to be lame and hers is going to be great. Um, so make sure you check hers out and also make sure you're following us both on Instagram so you can get that coupon code for our sale this weekend. And we're both running a sale in our shop. I'll make sure I link hers down below as well. So now have a great night and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.